Hey guys. So I'm on a new block and a new job. Work from someone else this time. I'm in old growth. Uh, mostly white wood. <laughs> it's so nice here. Oh, nice cool air. Sun's just coming over, peeking over the mountain there. I had some shade this morning. I just peeked over the mountain. Um, and re I'm opening up the bottom of the block. And like I say, I'm in old growth, so you can see there's a lot of, uh, you know, um, saplings around. Actually, scroll over here. But there's a lot of big open clean areas, eh? Really, really nice. But up above me, um, they call it bastard growth. I guess there was a, a fire went through here, like, you know, 200 years ago or something. So uh, it's old growth, sorta, right? Um, it, like it naturally grew up on its own. So it's all small wood up there. There's a couple of really nice big firs up there. Oh, real nice stuff. That'll be in another video. It's gonna take me a couple of days to get up there. And I'm opening up and I got a bit of um a little bit of a challenge. I'll show you I'll show you what's going on here. I'm gonna flip the camera over, so I'll just stop it right here. Okay, so like I say, I've only did this is only my second tank. So the first tank, I took a couple snags out, one real big one in the corner over there. Really big, huge snag. Uh, I failed it all across the line where it was safe. I was taking saplings out. Here's a short stubby snag I took out. And the snags here are really, really bad. Like the guys that were, were have been here before me that are, this job's been going on for a couple months, telling me that uh, the snags here are really dangerous. You know, hemlock snags tend to be that way, right? Because they're all just very rotten mush. Okay, so you see that writing paint there, it says back spar. So what that means, to my understanding, is that's where the tail hold's gonna be, right? Because they're on a grapple yarding block. So because you can't get roads up there, you can't get uh, height, right? The grounds will be hitting the, uh, or the, pardon me, the cables will be hitting the ground and they need height to lift the logs up. So they're gonna climb up, you know, probably way up to there somewhere and put a big block up there and the cables will, We'll hook up up there and then of course they have to tie back this tree right tie back to maybe that tree down there down the base or something and uh and then okay so considering that i gotta leave this tree right so, see there's the back line right there right that orange ribbon right there um so you want to fall everything above this one tree uphill from it right and then you see my my axe Right there, hitting that tree. Okay, so this one, the line, the line goes, how's it go now? It goes across right here, and then it drops down to go around that tree, and then it comes up a little bit. And then um, more trees over there, that way, are leaning this way. So if I want to follow those trees, or like there's a couple of trees right there, and farther back you can't see, they're leaning this way, so I have to get this tree out of the way. So to follow this tree, I can't throw it up above this thing because this tree is in the way. So I got to fall it below this one, which is going to make it a make it really hard to yard. But they rarely yard straight up the hill. Like the, the yarder will be sitting on an angle, so it'll be you know instead of going straight up the hill, the cables will go off that way or go off that way. Um, so it, if, for example, the yarder is going out that way, he could still easily pull this log out from behind this tree. Um, so I'm hoping they'll be able to do that because the, the side line isn't, it's like, uh, I don't know, 200 feet that way and the line goes straight up the hill. So yeah, we'll see where the yarder sits and then, oh yeah. Okay. So another thing is check this out. Look at that. Uh, nasty snag, right? Broken top. It did for a while but I don't have a safe place to fall it yet. I can't just fall it through standing timber. It's illegal and it's really dangerous and I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. It's, you're just asking for an accident. So I gotta open up a safe hole for it. So as soon as I can, I go fall that big nasty snag. And uh, I'll start cutting into that one and I'll put the camera somewhere and I like it. There's another, oh no, it's just broken top, that one over there. But yeah, it's real good cutting here. It's gonna be really, really fun. It's gonna be a really fun shift here. I got about uh, one shift here with these guys, then I go back to my own job. 
So I just keep them busy. See if it's sitting around the home or a house. Just keep them busy. Okay, I'll turn this on. You want to throw it right there. Right, there's that box bar tree. There's a line right there. I don't want to dump it down there. And I go, these guys going the, I mean, this way. I'll try pushing it. I'm going to wedge that. It's going to be wedging my guts out. Way too much work. Oh, some's checking in. Yeah, gotcha, thanks. Yeah, my partner checking in with me. Was good every half hour checks there we uh he can hear my saw but he he wants to check in anyway so that's fine so i'm gonna wedge my guts up for that thing you see my axe just bounce off of that wedge cool okay okay so this thing's pretty small. I don't know if I have the weight and it's pretty close to it. So it's not gonna have a lot of velocity when it hits this thing. But this thing didn't really lean back heavy. It's just a lot of weight. I guess I didn't show you that tree, but it had a bit of a crook. Like it went up then it had a bit crook like this. So I think it was a bit more weight than I, than I figured. Leaning back the other way. And then I got this one and that one. So I got a, quite a few pushers here if this one doesn't work. Um, I got a short stubby here. Just a little short stubby. Probably just smash that guy over. You know, it's faster, safer, easier. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll just put, I'll just put this down. I'll just put this down right here. 
Right, I think I'll just do one or two videos today because it takes time out of my day to film and you know I got to get a certain amount of volume done in a day right so I didn't do anything. Yeah, go figure. Okay, I'll get the next one here cut up and I'll put the turn the camera back on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I got that camera. <laughs> I was looking up. I wasn't looking at the at the screen. <laughs> There's had this. Had two branches come down. One came down way over there, and the other one came down in front of me. You've probably seen that one. Look at that, eh? Perfect. What a beauty. Um. Well, maybe I'll just take this guy. It's technically tall enough that I have to cut her down, even though it's now gonna be kind of pointless. But the little stubby snag right there, you know? If I can't if I can't uh, reach the top of it with my hand, I gotta cut it down, even though it's it's pointless, but I have to do it. In the name of safety. Sometimes you'll get <clears throat> oh I'm sure I'll show you one day on camera. Well, you get a snag like this, right? You know, as high as they can reach. But it'll be like five feet wide and it's all slabby in pieces. It's more dangerous to cut the snag down than to leave it. Or, you know, then they, they say it's too dangerous to leave, but it's actually more dangerous to cut it down. Because it's not going to just naturally fall over on its own. Some of the rules are just ridiculous that we got to follow. But, uh... Yeah, I could put myself in danger if all the rules. Um, so I'll take a log off the butt. I got a little bit of lemon to do. Take a log off of this one. After I get these ones here down, of course. Okay. I'll uh, maybe I'll get a couple of those ones over there. Probably next tank. Yeah, okay, so there's that uh, back spar tree. And the little guy. It's on the left there.
Easy peasy. Yeah. Right, go on to the next one. Oops. Checking the quality of the bat. It's too uh, rotten or wind shake or too many defects. I gotta take a chunk off, but this looks fine. Just a little stain in the middle. Nails all bent.
Okay, so now that I got that tree down, it went lower than I, I wanted it to. Oh well. But now that that tree's down, it's now safe enough to follow the snag right here. So I'm gonna follow the snag before I buck that. You don't wanna be working underneath the snag, right? Okay, so saplings and branches in the way, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I fall the other way. Yeah, it's gonna ever so slightly into the left. I fall right down there. Okay, let me just see what the side lean is. It, oh, here, pretty much straight up and down. Maybe a little bit of uphill lean. Look at that big defect right there. I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do, aim it down there, and I got a whole swack of pusher trees if I need to. I don't wanna wedge this thing. If I have to wedge it, I'm gonna push it. There's no way I'm gonna wedge this thing. Cause this thing's been dead long enough, the top's broken. There's no fine needles on it. Look at all this fungus. This bark is just sitting in there, right? This whole, you know, it could have a thousand pounds of bark just come sh 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 coming right down like a freaking uh, like a blade, right? Just come shooting right down, all crumble and all fall on you. Yeah, I don't like that. So I'm gonna dump her down there. So I'll just be careful of that. That's all. 
Um, I think what I'll do is I'll put it in the shadow of this of the tree here. How's that looking? Yeah, okay. Nasty. Brown wild looks like coffee. Yeah. Gross looking stuff. <laughs> I'll wait a minute for that to drain. So it seems pretty solid. There's some rock in the middle. But uh, there's there's a lot of solid material there. So that's good. Yeah.
Still leaking water. Nasty stuff. Thanks. Mind the cut one a little bit farther in, but only like an half an inch, inch or something. No big deal. Again, I don't know if I got the camera, I was looking up. <clears throat> Look how wet that is, eh? Man, I was just puking out. Nasty water. Okay, well that was uh, pretty easy. And it cuts a bit big, but oh well. Uh, downhill leaner senior there. Take that one out, take all small stuff out, and, and then throw those uh, bigger ones right there. We'll have to see which way they're going, but but nice if they're going that way because I kind of have to throw it angle up the hill a little bit to dodge this thing. I got a bit of a hole. I might have to take a few more of these here out though. I'll uh, I'll make that decision when I go down there and see what to do. But, uh, yeah, now I'm in the sun. Okay. <laughs> okay, 
is that snag I fell. And then here I am now, this big one. I could think I could follow it either way. It's dead. It just died. It's got to find needles on it. But probably lots of good solid wood in there. I think I'll follow it this way, but this one here is a snag too. Look at the giant fungus growing on there. There's a whole bunch of them. Another one right there. Scroll down. Big fungus on there. And I'll zoom out. Oh, I can't see because the, bran the branch is in the way, but it's got a dead top. Or I mean a broken top. And then I got that one right there. I gotta check out. So I'm gonna take all these saplings, dump them, and the line's right there, right? So I'm gonna take all these saplings, dump them down, see what I got, see if I can dump this down. Because if I can, then I can get this one after too, right after that. Yeah. So I'll open this up and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is one of the snags. Then I'm gonna dump it downhill. It's gonna slightly lean that way. So I'm gonna stand on this side and cut in case it breaks off prematurely. It's not gonna go over my head. I'm gonna dump it down that way. Get a little skate trail here. I think it's just right up here. Hey. <laughs> it's up behind the camera there.
Oh yeah, okay, so <clears throat> I thought that one just died, but still in the process of dying, because in the bottom side, I think I'm on zoom. What's going on here? Yeah, okay, so after a fuel lap, I went just one back, and then that one back, and right behind that tree, the line shoots straight up. So I have to make a hole up into here um, high enough so that when the lines go sideways again, side hill, I'll have a hole I can throw stuff into here. Look at all this little stuff, eh? So much. I'll go take a look at the map here and try, I'm gonna try and get it so tomorrow when my or when another guy comes down here, we got enough room. Yeah. I mean, enough room of, of opened up face. So. But look at how clear that is. That's uh, some high grade wood right there. It's a, lot of, a lot of money. I don't know what, I don't know what market prices are, but they're record highs right now. So you don't want to be smashing any wood. Okay, so the back cuts out. I have to wedge this one, we'll see. Actually, Make it a little easier for me. Stick over here. There we go. Oh.
<laughs> I had to swing it right between those two trees right there. <laughs> and I did it. There's my stump. Nice holding the wood all the way across. Looking good. Might take a might take a small piece off the butt. With shake, wind shake and rot there. Yeah. And then this one's coming this way. And that other one there. Right on. Well, looks like I got some good old fashioned wedge in here. Two wedges in there. I'm gonna try and get up above this stump here, but gravity might pull it down. I'm, uh, as long as it gets above that tree right there. Let's see. I wanna, I wanna make sure it goes above it. Oh jeez, come on now. I probably can't see anything. Okay, I should do it. Perfect. You see, I cut out the middle bit, the middle there a bit. Right on. Yeah, I'll take uh, one log off the button. Yeah. yeah it worked, out, worked out all right. Of course, it's not nice and level this way, but it hit there and it pivoted over, and that's fine though. Okay. Let's go into this one here. Okay, another wedger. This is the one by the uh, corner here. The line goes up right here. It's going, it's the uh, wedges are going in, so it's good. Just slowly. Getting easier. Oh yeah, it's going. Oh crap. Ah, I wasn't supposed to go there. Yeah, I had lots of holding wood. You see, you see, I aim right there, right below that stump. And I went down there. A lot of rot in this side, eh? Oh, a lot of downhill weight, uh, weight. Um, pulling it downhill. Oh well, I find there's a lot of rot in this big wood. These, uh, that one there, is, right down there is a big one that's got, that's rotten all the way through from the bottom to the top. Yeah, oh well. I'll go put a cut in that thing. See if the rock comes out. It hasn't come out of the other ones, but I'll cut that one and see. So there's a the line. So right there, it kind of goes up. And then I think just up there, it starts to go over again. So if I want to take a couple of these big ones out, make a hole right here, and then I start punching that way again. So, yeah, she's coming. 
I'm getting there. Well, day's over. Man, yeah, what an awesome day. Great weather. Lots of black flies though, biting me. But uh, nice cool breeze. <laughs> Just great. And I'll uh, show you. Okay, so there's a big snag stump, right? I fell earlier. And I opened up way around the corner. Actually, I opened up right here. But then I pushed way around the corner there. Another tree length over around the corner. So it's, it's a real narrow opening there. Um, and then it came back. And then I worked all this here. I'll zoom out. So I worked all this here. And unfortunately, the, the couple of the big ones here are all pulp wood. It's just garbage wood. Um, and then... Right there is a far corner, and then the line jumps straight up to there, and then, and then it goes out. Oh, someone's calling me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, on the right side there, there's um, an oil and a bar and an axe sitting there across from my trail. Yeah, my spare oil, axe, and bar are at the road across. Yeah, across from my uh, my trail starts. Okay, so I'll show you. The, on a, maybe I'll put in the same video, but there's a big, big draw right there, and I don't know where uh, the other guy is going to start. If he's going to start in the other side of the draw, then I won't be able to work there. I have to work back this way. But if I can start there, at least I can get that opened up. And I had to, I had to start here as my little point. So I had to start here, bring this up before I could even start in there. Because a bunch of that wood over there is going to come right into here, right? Lay down right into here. So we'll see how tomorrow works out. And uh, right there is my trail ribbon. And there's my trail ribbon. So follow that, follow that up to the road. And my spot, like I say, is probably another 200 feet around the corner there is the, the end of the bottom line. And the line shoots up. And then as the road goes from over there the road goes as it goes across the mountain it goes up so i'm actually at the lowest point from the road because right above me the road's way up there and then those guys over there are on the bottom line the road's closer so i get the most wood to cut here but like if you look up and you can see the wood above me here it's all real small eh it's just going to be dumping no bucking it's just dumping processor get all this and there's a couple big ones over there and there's that one real big fur oh man high grade like i don't know over six feet tall super tall wood and it doesn't have uh doesn't look like it has a downhill lean so i'll be able to lay it out sideways nicely and oh, i'm gonna make a video of that one for sure and then look at this piece of junk right here see it's all scarred up Rotten in the middle. You can tell it's rotten in the middle, eh? Right? Look at that right there. Some damage in the past. It's trying to heal over. That's just going to be garbage, too. Yeah. So, anyways, I got to get going. I got the longest hike to the road. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning.